Hey everybody, I'm Keychain. This video is going to be a guide for the Fractured Plane Barbarian. We are using the skills Lacerate, Whirlwind, Wrath of the Berserker, Hammer of the Ancients, and Sprint. So this may not actually be week one anymore if you're watching this down the road, but the guide is still relevant if you're using a majority of the these skills um, but yeah we're gonna go through basically a lot of the gameplay this will be a longer video um, try and cut it around 30 minutes but I don't know if that will actually happen we'll see I'm just gonna show kind of the gear pieces that I choose as I choose them um, I'll do a room or two of gameplay on each floor uh, and then as after I start to get the build set up and show the playstyle I'll just show the bosses only and um, what decisions I make at the vendor, and that'll be the style of this video. So, getting started, one of the first things I'm actually going to do is, I think I'm going to change the skills around. So you can change the skills around um, in this event. I don't know how I want to do this. Actually, I think I might leave them. I think I can work with it how it is. So here's what I'm going to do. The goal here is to not take damage. You want to do take as little damage as possible by running around, gathering everything up, and you're going to hit them with things like Whirlwind on the outskirts, um, Wrath of the Berserker. You just try and take as little damage as possible, and you know capitalize on the fact that you can hit them while they can't hit you. So Whirlwinding just on the outskirts. Um, one of the best items that you can get in here, uh, neither one of these are item I want. Now, the other thing that I'm trying to do is you want to increase your fortune level. So increasing your fortune level is important. If you're on track for the floor two um, vendor, to go from level one to level two fortune is 50 coins, and to go from level two to lefty, level three is 100 coins. So if you can take less than half of your health damage on floor one and beat all the floors and be above 150 coins do that and advance your fortune two levels if you're under 150 coins or you won't get over 150 coins on the last chest it's probably best to pick a piece of gear because a level one piece of gear costs 50 coins if you pick the coins out of the box it's only 36 so it's technically better to buy or to get a one star piece of gear for free now, I'm going to do one more room showing what I do on level one, and then I'm going to cut away and I won't come back until like floor three after we've gotten some gear or we're close to the boss fight. So these slimes are super slow, um, but they do have that lunge attack, so it's kind of hard to, um, to gauge. But here I want to hit him with this, Wrath of the Berserker, get some, some spinnies off. And then I'm going to just run away. And I'll go back through. I'm going to hit him again. And it's hard to do Whirlwind with this short range. So I took a little bit of damage there that I shouldn't have. It's not a lot. Um, but the other piece about this Barbarian build is once you get um, the Whirlwind that you heal by 3% of the damage you do, this gets so much easier. And then you can be a lot less careful because you're doing just tons and tons of damage. So there, I've taken some damage, um, not a ton. Here it is, Grim Roost. This is the crown jewel of the Barbarian build. As soon as you can get these shoulders, you're set. So from here on out, when I need to heal, I pop Wrath of the Berserker and I whirlwind straight through a group and it will heal me and it will heal a lot. So having this item is going to make it easy all the way through. Um, with that being said, I'm now at 40 coins. I've got two rooms left. One of these will spawn the portal to go to floor two. If I went here and I kill this room and get all the coins and it spawns a portal, don't go in the portal. Come back clear this room unless you're almost dead you want to clear all the rooms on the floor um, so you want to maximize your coins get as much as you can especially early on because the faster you can increase your fortune the faster you start getting higher star items 
So uh, I'm going to cut here and we'll pick back up at level three, see where we're at, and then I'll show the boss fight. All right, so we're on floor three. Now I've got 177 coins. I'm going to increase my Shard of Fortune again, and I'll show you the gear that we've currently got. I'm sitting on a helmet. Spirit Breaker, don't have any weapons, don't have a chest, don't have pants, but this Grim Roost makes it golden. Uh, I'm going to go fight the boss, we'll see what we get. I may regret not buying a piece of gear, but we'll find out. Okay, so this one is not bad because the extra adds, although they do damage, they also make it so that I can heal myself with Whirlwind, which is great. Ooh, except for the boss does hit very hard while I don't have any um, any increased health. So we'll see if I regret my decisions here. See how I'm slowly, slowly healing? Once my damage goes up, this gets out of control pretty quick. And then the amount of damage I'm done heals way quicker. Okay, so that's that boss fight. It's not very exciting. Um, here, I think I can, I think I'm gonna go with the crit chance again. Now, when you have three offensive choices, you gotta decide how you wanna play. The critical hit chance directly increases the amount of healing I get because of the whirlwind 3% um, healing. So that's what I'm gonna go with. I don't have enough coins to do anything for the fortune level this time and nothing good as far as what I'm looking for here. I'm after three star gear. Um, I'll be able to increase my fortune level soon and then from there we'll start being able to get four star pieces. So as long as I can make it through this next floor without dying, I'll be able to start picking up pieces of four star gear. Um, this one never replaced Grim Root. Grim Root or Grim Roost. That's Crown Jewels. Don't replace that if you get it. Even if it's just a one star, the healing is super important. So um, I'll check back in at floor six for the boss. I'll show you the progress, show you what our build looks like, um, and then you'll see some of the gameplay on the boss. All right, so we're on floor six. Um, we're going to go fight the boss in just a second here. I will show you the current progress. I am sitting at fortune rank five, which we're going to increase again, I think. Yep, because we don't want to replace the shoulder. Um, this one, actually, since I don't have a main hand, this one will actually help me. I do like this one because it reduces um, the movement speed, but it makes it attack a bigger radius. So you can actually attack a lot more monsters from outside of their attack range, so it works pretty well. So I'm going to buy that, even though I could have done a fortune rank. And then I'll show you the current build. So we're currently using the Spirit Breaker, leaving some tornadoes on the ground. We are running Davin's Legacy for an extra hammer of the Ancients. We are running, of course, the Whirlwind Heal. We are running the Remembered. So Hammer of the Ancients now gives me a little summoned buddy that fights and takes damage. So they kind of tank for you, which is nice. On top of, now I can drop two of them because of this chest, and now I've got a bigger whirlwind radius. So this build is coming together nicely, and this is similar to what I used the first time I cleared, so it shouldn't be too much trouble. And Ignatius is a nice boss for us. See how big that whirlwind radius is? Crazy. See how fast that boss died? So those ancients, they they do a lot of damage. It's pretty nice, actually. So looking at the blessing we're going to take, um, movement speed by 20%, I think, for this one, because that'll help me with running around gathering. It'll help me with whirlwinding um, in addition to being able to avoid extra damage. Speed is key. This damage done increase would directly increase the amount of healing, um, but I think I'm feeling the movement speed. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm going to now check back in. We'll go quickly upgrade the fortune level. So that should put us at fortune level six. 
and we'll look at what our percentages are and then I'll check back in at floor nine again. So, all right, checking in on floor nine for the boss. We're gonna increase our fortune rating to eight. So we now have a small chance to get five star items. We have almost all four star. Can't find another shoulder yet, but we'll get it eventually. Um, the damage that you get from this, kind of minor compared to you know, what you gain. But we'll go to the boss, and then I'll show a room on the next floor of how I clear it. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So you can stay right on top of the boss from this, and as long as you're not in front of him, um, you're not going to take much damage. So there I took a little bit, but I can heal. I can bring back one of my buddies to tank for me. And this is floor 9 boss down. So, looking at the blessings. Maximum life, 20%. Because I always go defense. Even if I'm murdering everything, I always go defense. Because you never know when you're going to get a room that is extremely difficult. And you're going to wish that you had more defenses. You can have all the offense in the world, but if things are knocking you up in the air and then killing you, you're kind of screwed. So we're going to increase the fortune level to rank 9. So now we have a 14% chance to see 5 star items. There is one right here, but it's a shoulder and we would never replace these shoulders. So this is what we're dealing with. I'll show you one room and then we'll cut out and I'll come back in on floor 12. So this room is actually a challenging one because of the type of attackers. We've got charging monsters as well as ranged monsters, but watch this clear. See how much healing is going on there? And then if I need uh, some assistance, I drop my little tank buddies. And I go around the outskirts and heal while they're doing work. So this was a tankier group of monsters for sure. And then I'll just run away for a minute. I'll let my whirlwind come back, let my sprint come back, let my hammer of the ancients come back, and we'll go back in and clear. So one down, we'll drop this just to get that stun. And whirlwind it all down. And you see it healed us back to health, even though we took some damage during. Um, so here we've got a five star pair of pants, but this item ruins sprint. I think it's it's not good for this game mode, so I'm gonna skip it. So some of you might say like, that's crazy, but I don't like the pants. I've played with them. I really, really don't like those pants. Try them out if you like them and you can make them work for you, by all means use them. Uh, it's not ideal to skip an entire gear slot in this game mode, but if you really don't like what the pants do to your build, take them off, skip them. If it makes you play better without having the pants, yeah. take your pants off. <laughs> All right, um, I'll check back in at floor 12, show you the progress, we'll kill the boss, and then a final time at floor 15, and that'll be it for this guide. All right, we're on floor 12 now. We're gonna show the boss, um, show what we're up to here in just a second. Actually, let me show you what we have currently. I've got a five-star helmet, a five star remembered and I'm still on a two star, two star shoulder, four star um, chest and a four star main hand. So we're looking for some better items here. We're gonna, since we're already max fortune level, we're gonna refresh looking for the pieces that we need. Uh, ideally, the shoulders. So Grim Roost would be great. And I do wanna stay with the same Davin's legacy chest. So I'm looking for specific items at this point. And if I don't get them, I don't get them. We'll just continue on. Brush scale, stone fall, eagle maelstrom, broken soul, coming storm. Ferocious gale. It seems to really want me to have that ferocious gale. What main hand am I using? That's the other one I need to look for. The Eager Maelstrom, I think, is the one I'm using. 
So if I see an eager maelstrom, I might have passed one already because I wasn't looking for that. And it looks like that's... Oh, there's a Grim Roost. Perfect. So we buy this, and that's all the coins we have for now, but that's going to give me a damage increase of 124 going into the boss fight, so that's nice. And we'll see what boss we get. Shade of Destruction, I'll take it. So there is a spot that I can stand where I don't take damage here, but I want to just avoid damage. So take a step back when he's doing his tornadoes and wait, wait it out. Those hit pretty hard, these frost arrows or frost balls, whatever they are. So we'll just avoid those. We'll get one of my friends in to tank a little bit. Whirlwind back to full health. And then we'll just come out here and avoid the fireballs. So dodging fireballs, I could reheal the damage by just staying in there and whirlwinding, but don't take it unnecessary damage. I didn't realize he was doing it again. So after I say that, I didn't realize he was casting more fireballs. So I'm actually at half health now, so I'm going to have to gain that all back in room one on the next floor. Um, Always defense. I've been saying that. I gotta stay with it. So we're getting some extra block chance. Always defense. That's the motto of my guides is if you're alive, you can continue doing damage. If you're dead, you can't. So here we'll show <clears throat> one room of gameplay real quick. Um, the new thing I've been doing is I've been gathering them up and then dropping the ancients before I go in so that they can soak a little bit of damage. And then I whirlwind through and heal back up. So now I'm gonna run away while I wait for whirlwind or hammer of the ancients and we'll go back in in just a second and finish this off. So I didn't quite kill them all. Now my guy should stay in alive long enough to actually help me out rather than just soaking a couple of hits. Not the one I'm looking for, so we'll go with coins, but <clears throat> you can see the gameplay hasn't changed much. It's drop a Hammer of the Ancients, or you know, I sprint, I pop Wrath of the Berserker, I whirlwind through until it's gone, doing all the damage I can healing, and then I get out and I run away and I wait. So we'll check back in on floor 15 for the boss, we'll kill the boss, and then that will be it. Um, if you were just here to see kind of how I play and what kind of items that you should be looking for you've probably already gotten that and i appreciate you watching this far if you just want to see it through to the end the next clip should be another two or three minutes and then we'll be done all right i am now on floor 15. i've got five star items all the way around i did switch to a north wind um, so i have a smaller radius on whirlwind now but um, the chill won't matter on the boss i found an organic upgrade so i don't necessarily feel like I want to sit and gamble through this a whole bunch of times to get you know the eagle collar and unless I find one literally while I'm talking to you guys so we'll buy that and then we'll go to the boss um, but yeah we're nearing the end we've got all five lives the whirlwind three percent is super overpowered for this game mode and shade of destruction it is so we'll just do as much damage as we can and save Whirlwind for when we need to heal. We'll avoid damage, we'll just hang out. Get one of my buddies in here and let's do some damage. 
So he's attacking me instead of my summon, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because the summon does a lot of damage. And then we'll just avoid fireballs. Um, arguably the bosses that I got this time around are super easy. So depending on which bosses you get, your journey through could be much harder. It is, I mean, RNG is going to RNG. So sorry if uh, my guide isn't showcasing the hard bosses, but I got to work with what I get. Do some serious damage here while we can. And that's it. So basically, after you start practicing in this, I've noticed that it gets much easier after you've done it multiple times, especially on different characters. So if you do have an alt, try some of the other classes. But you get the hang of the rooms and the bosses, as well as how to spend your shards and when to spend your shards. So ideally, you want to focus on your fortune as much as you can, because as soon as you start getting three star, four star, five star pieces out of the boxes, that's the most bang for your buck as far as gaining coin value. Um, and you can see I had 2,000 coins left over because I got my fortune box or my fortune level up early and I got some luck in the boxes getting some four and five star pieces. So I didn't need to spend my coins on anything because I was able to heal using Whirlwind. Um, use my Call of the Ancients to mitigate damage and then, you know, just heal up anytime I needed to Whirlwind. Um, that's it for this one. I hope this helped. Um, I tried to make the video much shorter because the other one was too long. And after you've seen kind of how I'm playing on the bosses and a room or two, like that's the same way I play every single room. So there's not really a reason to you know, drag it along and show you 25 room clears when you only need to see a handful. All right, um, if you like this video, remember to hit the like and subscribe, share if you like, and leave a comment. Um, I think based on how many people wanted melee style guides for this week, that next week will probably probably be similar. So we'll have a different set of abilities next week. And if people want guides or, you know, gameplay tips on those classes, then I'm happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments. All right. See you in the next video.